Greetings, this is a quick video on how to submit a bid uh, using our Builder Trend system. We send out bid requests uh, on all of our funded jobs that we're uh, creating our budgets for. If you're getting a bid request, keep in mind it is a competitive bidding system. We do uh, receive up to three bids uh, per line item and uh, we do accept uh, obviously the most competitive bid. Um, in order to uh, do the bid request, you're going to want to log into the Builder Trend system. Everybody should have their own unique username and password. If you forgot your username or your password, you can use a link here. Uh, but the website you're going to want to go to is buildertrend.net. And then you're going to want to put in your username and your password. Just click login. It'll bring you to your dashboard. Um, we'll have another video that kind of shows the general functionality of this. But as a, review, a quick review, um, all the jobs are listed here on the left. Um, you can select all the jobs, which is what's selected now, and then that populates what happens on your dashboard. But in order to submit a bid, oh, it's really simple. All you got to do is go up to the top here where it says bids, click on bids. Uh, some people may work for multiple builders that use the same system. Uh, it could get a little confusing in there. Uh, something that's quick and easy if you want to filter. I only show obviously the one because we only work for ourselves, but uh, you may have multiple builders in here. If you check mark the builder that you want to work on the bids for, you just hit that and then click your update results. It'll just bring in those builders that you check and you can check multiple. Um, if you have multiple builders that are using the bidding system here, you're most likely going to want to use one at a time anyways, um, but it'll show you basically what uh, they're asking you to bid on, uh, the date they requested it, the deadline date. Uh, will you bid yes or no? That's one of the questions you're going to answer inside of here. I'll show you and then what builder it is, uh, the job site and your bid amounts and then your status is um, to submit a bid. Let's just select one here. Um, I'm going to select this one here for impact fees and permits. I'm going to one of the first things, if you don't have time to bid, just go ahead and let us know. You know, I'm going to I'm going to bid it, you know, just hit yes, but I just don't have time right now. You can just save it for later. So just click yes and then save for later. That lets us know on our end that, hey, you do intend to bid, but you're just not don't have time to do it today. But make sure that you do it before the expiration of, you know, the bidding uh, request. So let's go back in here again. It's very simple. What you're going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom. It's very important that you scroll down because this is how you know what to bid and how to bid. We attach uh, specific files to this that have to do with the actual bid that we're requesting. If you wand over it, it'll show you that uh, this particular bid request has a build sheet attached. It also has the design selections. And you'll get colors and you know product codes and all that kind of stuff if, if that's what you're bidding on. It has the um, drainage design for the site plan. That'll tell you stuff like how many courses of stem wall the house is, what the finished floor elevation is going to be. And it also has the uh, city approved plans attached. So with those four things, you pretty much can bid almost anything on this job. If you're missing any of that, I'll show you a little bit later on where to look for things if you need to find some additional information. Uh, below that's going to be your description. The description is basically going to be a quick scope of work. Uh, this one is just for our accounting department, so it's a very easy, quick scope of work. It's just, you know, us putting in uh, the cost of the uh, permits and impact fees. If you're a painter, it's going to tell you, you know, how many coats. If you're doing interior, exterior. If you're um, a concrete person, it's going to tell you all about, you know, if it's a lentil beam or if it's a tie beam. Or it's basically going to be your scope of work for your particular trade is going to be outlined in the description there. So you can take the scope of what we want you to do, put it against the documents that we have attached, and then basically give us uh, your bid number. Um, if you have a question on the bid, you can create a comment. and It'll go to the bidding department. Um, I have a question, and that comment will get posted. It'll be uh, posted on the bid, So and then they'll be able to reply back and forth, and your question may be is answered a lot quicker than just sending an email. And then that way the discussion is also attached to the bid request. So if it needs to be reviewed later, you know, we can review it. Uh, going back up here, we're ready to do our bid. We've reviewed the plans. We looked at the site plan. We looked at the builder specs and we checked out the selections. If, you know, obviously it pertains to your uh, particular trade. Um, we've come up with a number in this case for me. Uh, for permits and impact fees on this job, it's $13,862.04. You're going to have to give it a quantity. Um, 
you may have multiple line items that you bid on. Um, some trades have multiple things that they do for us. So when you get invited in to bid on something, it's going to be based on the job, and then there'll be multiple line items. So make sure that the line items for the particular bid request are all filled in. If you find there's a line item that is not included um, in the job, um, you leave it blank. If it says, you know, it wants you to bid on crown work and the, the basic standard features of this house do not include crown, well, then you just leave it at zero because it's not included. If you want to clarify anything about your bid, you can clarify things here. Okay. And here is where you actually upload your physical bid which could be your invoice later. Um, all you do is click, click that button. You can drag and drop your invoice right onto here from your desktop or wherever you're saving it, or you can browse. In this case, I just dragged and dropped, and now I'm gonna upload it. Now it's gonna attach my sign, you know, or my bid basically to this bid request. I have my clarification here. Um, I have my question down here, which hopefully been answered. And now I'm ready to submit. So I just hit the submit button and it's gonna reconfirm. Are you sure you wanna submit this? Click yes. And now your bid has been submitted. And that is basically how you submit a bid. The next video that we're gonna do in this series is how to accept a PO. Once your bid gets submitted to us, uh, we review the bids and like I said, we accept uh, the more competitive of the bids. Uh, we do look at quality of work obviously as well as price. So we review those two things. Once we accept it, uh, it gets accepted and then it'll get uh, turned into a purchase order. The purchase orders are gonna have to be accepted by you and I'm gonna show you in our next video how to do that. Um, couple quick things before I go. All your open bid requests are gonna be here. You'll, have, you'll see if there's any comments. Remember we made that little comment there, you can click it. Any bids that you won are gonna be all on this tab. Any bids that you lost will be on this tab. You can start to review your lost bids. It might even tell you why your bid was lost. And then obviously this is a combination of everything, bids won and lost. So once you submit the bid, it's sitting um, as submitted. And then once we accept it, it will move into the one tab. And then once we assign it a purchase order, it'll remove off of this one tab and actually goes into your bills and POs, which is located over here. And that's going to be our next video. So I'm going to stop this one now.